Today I'm going to show you how to attach a macro to a button on the formatting toolbar in Microsoft Excel 2011 for the Mac. The first thing I'm going to do is to create myself a small little macro. To do so I can go to the Tools menu and choose Macro, Macros, Record Your Macro. I am going to give it a name. I want it on my personal macro workbook so that it is accessible by future workbooks that I open as well as this current workbook. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Now it's very important that you don't that you do not click on the grid at all so that it's a universal macro that works no matter what cell is selected. I happen to be on A1 but I did not click on A1 once I started to record. You should not click inside this spreadsheet in here. Don't click if you want to do this kind of macro that is general. So the first thing I want to do though is to make sure that I'm on my home tab, which I am. Otherwise I would click on the home tab. And then I am going to go ahead and create a special formatting by going to number, pull down menu, custom. And I'm just going to select this kind of formatting which will allow me to have on the right hand side of this number dashes indicating that I have plenty of space on the left dash three spaces on the right dash four spaces on the right I'm gonna just simply click OK now I'm gonna stop the macro by going to tools macro stop recording now to make sure that this macro did work, I am just going to go ahead and type in some numbers. I am going to go ahead and apply the formatting via the macro. So I just selected a number that I typed. I am going to go ahead and go to the macro, macros. And then my macro show here. I only have one macro. But in case you have more than one, it says here my number. I am going to go ahead and run it. And it did exactly what I wanted it to be doing which was to go ahead and have as many numbers on the left, but breaking this down to only four ditches on the right and three ditches in the middle. Okay, I have a macro ready, but it's a pain to start using the macro by going to Tools, Macro, Record New Macro. So I want it to be a little bit more flexible. All right, I'm going to go ahead and form, reformat this as a general number. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the View menu and select Toolbars Formatting. This will reveal the formatting toolbar, which allows us to go ahead and add, or if you right-click, or if you Control-click, you can see Customize Toolbars and Menus. I'm going to do just that. By selecting that option, I'm able to go ahead and click on the top portion that says commands. I have a macro that I'm working so I'm going to choose macros and I have a little happy face here as a button which I'm going to select and I'm going to drag and drop simply here at the end of the formatting toolbar. I am then going to press OK. Then I am going to right click on the little happy face and I'm going to go to assign macro which will allow me to find the personal macro that I have here on my personal workbook and then click OK. This successfully assigned that macro to this icon. I'll prove it to you. I'm going to select this and then press on the happy face and there you go. And no matter where I am, as long as I have a number to format and even if I don't, I can press the happy face. I can press the happy face in this cell, but then if I enter some ditches in here and press enter is going to format it as I wanted it to be formatted in the first place. Okay, so we attach this. Now we want it to be attached to any workbook we open in the future. So I am going to go ahead and close this workbook. I am not going to save. So this is the first save that, that it's asking you to do. Do not want to save the changes made to your workbook one. Don't save. That's not necessary. I do want you to go to Excel and then select Quick Excel. And what you're going to see, it's an interesting dialog box that says, you want to save the changes you made to the personal macro workbook. For that, you need to say Save. 
because whenever you open up your Excel program again, you'll have a little happy face that would allow you to format a number as you intended it to be formatted. That's how you create a simple macro and you attach it to the formatting toolbar. Please comment, ask questions, and I hope to be able to answer some of them. Thank you for watching.